Okay, I'm uh, I'm in my workshop now, and I'm just making a start to my meter-made boiler. Um, as you can see in front of you, I've got all my copper, and I've not made a boiler before, so this is going to be a learning curve for me. I've took plenty of advice from people that's that's done these things, but at the end of the day, uh, advice is one thing, and actually doing it's something different. So I'm on a steep learning curve, and I'm. Uh, trying to fathom out everything myself with all the information other people's given me um, that's the meter made boiler we know ca that's the loco we know cab on it's a fairly big boiler it's it's eight inch diameter five inch boiler and all its asso associated um, plates for, to close it off so as you can see I've already rolled this this was just one flat sheet. Uh, it's not finished yet, but it's, it's roughly in its near to its diameter now. I've just got to do a bit of finishing off. That's the inner firebox, five inch diameter. And then I've got my, my plates here to, um, to flange. So I've got two pieces there. Um, it's got to be cut the six inch, six and a half inch square and then I've got two bigger piece, pieces that's got to have a double flange on um, an outer and an inner flange they're nine and a half inch square and what I'm doing at the moment I'm working it all out on paper first if you can see in front on you um, now I'm not. I don't want to sound as though I'm getting pedantic here, but I've got all drawings, as you can see in front of your ear. I've got all the drawings and some some instructions, um, but the instructions are not as clear as I'd like them to be. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm having a practice run here. I'm doing it. I'm, I've done it. I've done some rough workings out because it's a complicated flange. This, it, well, it is to me. I mean, it might be not to a professional uh, model uh, model boiler maker, but the throat plate flange and the backhead plan flange have got double flanges on an outer one and an inner one, and not just that they're offset. And they're offset differently each one. So I'm just trying to work a way out now of making some uh, formers without having to make too many up. I'm trying to make them out of one uh, one lump of metal if I can, or two lumps of metal. Uh, and that's what I'm on with now. Just trying to work out what to, what diameters I've got to do them and, and where how much they've got to be offset before I start. Um, forming the flange so if I'd got all the formers and all the material to make the formers all well and good I could make them all individually but I'm trying to make them out the same former anyway what I'm going to do when I'm I know I might be rabbiting on here but I'm going to make it out of a bit of lead first as a, for a dummy run I don't want to go and spoil me my copper uh, by making a you know, a simple... So, I've cut this uh, circle of lead out and I'm going to cut a hole in the middle and I'm going to work out... Um, I'm going to use uh, some of the stay holes as, as like... Um, not pivots, but like locating points to keep everything nice and uh, stable while I'm flanging it. And I'll probably end up putting another piece of flat plate on top, cut to the right size, so I can trap it, if you like. So I'm going to cut this hole out in this piece of lead now to the di dimensions it says in the book to do the inner flange, and then I'm going to do the outer flange. So watch this space and... Uh, We'll see what happens with this. And then if I've got all my measurements correct, because 
I'm trying to work these um, locating points out so I'm, so I can do it all with one former. So I'm going to have to obviously. You can see that's round. That's no problem. I can do me. I can do me outside flange, flange with that. But then I come to two different offsets for the inner one, and I've got to bore this out to to make the former, and then because everything's concentric on that former, I've got to move. I've got to offset my plate to do the forming, and I know my, that that might. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> I've come into my woodworking shed now, and I'm on my scroll saw. I've got my piece of lead, uh, my blade put through my piece of lead, and I'm just going to cut it, cut this inner circle out now on my scroll saw. Don't know if it'll be successful. We'll have to see. I've never cut lead before like this. We've done it okay. That's my next stage done. Um, catch you on my next little part then.